everyone, Heen here, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with live streaming from a basic setup right through to a pro level rig. Whatever your situation, Rode has a solution for you. At its most basic, streaming requires three things. Some sort of camera or video source, a microphone to pick up your voice, and a computer. You just go to the live streaming platform of choice, whether that be directly in Twitch, YouTube Live, Facebook, or a live streaming platform such as OBS or Ecamm Live. Once there, you select the microphone and camera in the settings. Hit the Go Live button and you're on air. So let's look at each of those components in turn and the available options you can use from the most straightforward to those with enhanced capabilities. Let's start first of all with the microphone. Yes, Rode is an audio company, but this really matters. Poor quality audio is the number one reason people will switch off from your stream. A grainy video feed is far easier to watch than poor quality audio is to listen to. If your audience can't clearly hear you, or there is distortion or background noise, your audience will switch off. The simplest option here is a USB microphone. There are many options from the affordable NT-USB Mini here through to the streaming-specific XDM100. All USB microphones work in a very similar way and are very easy to set up and use. To get the best result, you need to mount your microphone on a stand or a boom arm like this. It allows you to get nice and close to your mouth for a professional sound. Plug your headphones into the headphone output from the microphone and select the microphone as the source in your streaming platform. There are a few things you can do to further enhance your audio. All Rode USB microphones come with powerful inbuilt audio processing that you can activate using Rode Central, our easy to use control software, Rode Connect, our free podcasting software, or Unify, our free streaming software. This allows you to switch on powerful professional tools such as Aphex Audio Processing, which will give your voice a professional sheen. A more basic mic like this NT-USB Mini comes with preset controls for this. Just switch them on and you are good to go. More powerful mics such as the PodMic USB allow you to control all of the parameters of the processing to really tune your sound. But whatever you choose, you will get a professional result that is really easy for your audience to listen to. You will also need a camera. The most basic option is a USB webcam. You could use the one built into your laptop, but this may not be the best option because you can't position it easily in the right place. I'd recommend an external HD webcam that you can put on a stand so the camera is at the same height as your eyes. This makes for a relaxing and natural appearance. Finally, think about your lighting. Make sure your face is well illuminated from a light or window and that there aren't any bright light sources or windows behind you. This will deliver a very affordable, basic setup that will sound professional and is a perfect first step for a new streamer or for business presentations. But what if you have some additional requirements? Maybe you have more than one person in the stream, or need to manage a lot of audio sources, or you want to use a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Well, we have solutions for all of those scenarios, so let's look at some upgrade options. The first scenario is where you have more than one person on your stream. Perhaps it's a podcast style discussion, or maybe you just want more flexibility in your microphone choices. Well, the answer here is to use an external audio interface to connect the microphones to your computer. And a great option is the Rodecaster Duo. This connects to your computer and then you can connect XLR microphones to it, such as this pod mic. If you need more microphones, then the larger Rodecaster Pro 2 offers up to four XLR inputs. This solution doesn't just unlock more mics, however. It also offers more advanced audio processing capabilities, the ability to easily bring in remote guests via a phone or computer, and the ability to trigger music, sounds, and voice effects via the smart pads. It's really like a radio station in a box and is a great option for more advanced audio productions. But what if you don't want an interface on your desk? Well, we have a solution that works purely in software. This is the XDM100, a USB streaming microphone. 
This means you can use it in the same way as in our basic setup, but instead as the audio source for your streaming platform. However, if you use our free Unify streaming software, it unlocks some incredibly powerful features. Unify is a bit like having a Rodecaster Pro, but as software on your computer. You set the stream output of Unify as the audio source for your stream and then control all your audio sources in Unify. This includes bringing in additional audio sources for things like gameplay and chat, as well as having access to the same SmartPad functions as on the Rodecaster Pro 2. It also has some really powerful abilities to create submixes and manage streams that have a lot of audio sources, with up to six virtual channels of audio. But what if you want to up your video quality by using a DSLR or mirrorless camera? Or capture gameplay from a different PC or gaming console? For this, we have a really great integrated solution, the Streamer X. This cool device is not just an audio interface, it's also a video capture card. So what does that mean? It means you can connect any HDMI video source, including cameras and game consoles, and the Streamer X will capture that video and make it available to your computer via USB, just like a webcam. You can then use that as your video source in your streaming platform. It also has audio capability. You can connect an XLR microphone, and it also has a connection for a headset, like the NTH100M. Great for gaming or streaming, as well as the ability to connect a wireless microphone, such as the Wireless Me. You also get smart pads, like on the Rodecaster Pro and Duo, for triggering sounds, voice effects, and so on. You can even use them to send MIDI commands to do things like change scenes in your streaming software. Finally, whilst it works really well standalone, you can also combine it with the Unify virtual mixing software to unlock even more capabilities, virtual channels, and processing. It really is the ultimate streaming solution. And that's it, guys. I hope this was useful and helps you to figure out which setup would best suit your needs. Happy streaming.